Thank you. This is John Denuso, Lake George Battlefield Park Alliance, and my guest today is Dan Baruch, the Director of Planning and Zoning for the Town and Village of Lake George. Uh, Dan, you're involved in so many things in this community as in your position. Uh, one of the ones, of course, of great interest to the history community is the discovery of the remains five years ago now on Cortland Street. What became of those remains? How many remains are there? Who are they? Who they are, we believe, are continental soldiers, military associates, um, people that possibly traveled with the 1st Pennsylvania Battalion and or other regiments that were involved in military campaigns back here around the, the Revolutionary War era who probably perished at the smallpox hospital in the area. We did not find a plethora of artifact with the remains, um, but we did find what is indicative of a burial site. It wasn't just a couple of sets of remains that were put into the ground. They were orchestrated and organized burial shafts. um, And upon recovering them with some state archaeologists, we did find some artifacts that led us to the determination that they had association with the 1st Pennsylvania Battalion. Just last week on our battle Field Moments program, we had Dr. Siobhan Hart talking about her archaeological exploration mm-hmm. and uh, the smallpox hospital, a big part of that. Yep. We're, we're trying to find out how many soldiers ultimately uh, remains were found. So the remains are down at the New York State Museum and the bioarchaeology team down there are piecing them together like jigsaw puzzles, unfortunately, because of how they were removed and or uh, disturbed at the site. And we believe today, and this could change, it's been changing over over a period of five years, we believe today there are, uh, there are 44 sets of remains. And so I know there was a big ceremony, a big announcement uh, last week at Lake George Battlefield Park, uh, at which you provide an Town Supervisor Crescido and Mayor uh, Perry and, and others were there. W- what did kind of that portend for the future in terms of what's uh, what's to become of these remains? Yeah, the event last week, aptly titled The Hollowing of the Ground, was sort of a kickoff for the implementation part of this project. You know, you, know, you mentioned earlier, these remains were found in 2019. There was a weeks-long uh, recovery effort on the site. But behind the scenes, the town and all of our partners have been working diligently for five years developing a plan for reinterment and so so the event last week was a milestone right it was the kickoff of the implementation of this project to reinter those soldiers in this setting to keep them in lake george to reinter them in the appropriate location where they likely perished battlefield park and we finally got our our blessing right we got our blessing from the state to use their property because the the battlefield park is owned by dec it's a historic district they put us through the process to get that approval and we finally achieved that, and the hollowing of the ground really is setting us off, getting us going, opens up the fundraising effort. It lets everybody know we're doing this, right? And we're, and we're doing it appropriately. We're doing it respectfully, and we want to involve everybody. Um, you know, the goal is in two years, when the project is complete, we will have an unveiling that might have a 1,000 people at that event. So we're looking forward to that. Um, And I believe last week's event was an excellent turnout. One of the nice things about that event and the positioning of this memorial to the 44 soldiers is that it's within eyeshot of the four unknown soldiers from the French and Indian War who are already interred at the Battlefield Park. How is it going to be funded, Dan? That was one of our anchor projects in the package to the state for DRI. The state responded very positively to it because they had not had any strong historic preservation requests within DRI packages before, so that was unique to them. And the governor really thought it was an important project to be included in a downtown revitalization plan. Probably get some of the money from, from DRI. There are two other hopeful sources of of fundraising or financing for the project. The most important is the fundraising aspect the committee, the Cortland Street Reinterment Committee, has been working on and will implement over the next probably close to two years to pay for a portion of this project. We're unrolling a a website. In the next week or so, we're going to have a thousand brochures printed that will be hopefully out in everybody's hands in the area and at all of these events. You know, the, the presence of online 
fundraising and crowdsourcing these days is going to help us get the word out beyond Lake George, beyond the Capital Region, probably even beyond New York State. And I do think that we will have a very successful fundraising effort for this project. It's a bipartisan thing. There's no party affiliation. This is about American patriots. It's not about Republican or Democrat or any specific group of people. It's about honoring our legacy and our connection to the revolution. And the third hopeful source is actually congressionally directed spending money. They are interested in helping us with this project, continuing to support it. And if they can get us some financial assistance, they will. Thank you, Dan. On behalf of a grateful community for your leadership in this process over the last five years, Marissa Moratori, who is on the town board, I know she's been a big part of it as well. So we thank the town, the village for all it's done to support this. I understand if it's not up yet, it will be up soon. There's a website that's being developed, Repose of the Fallen LG. Dot org, yes. where all the information that uh, Dan just shared will be available to people, including yep. how to support it. Yep, how to support it, and we're going to be able to regularly update that. Thank you, Dan Baruch. On behalf of the Lake George Battlefield Park Alliance, Dan, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, John. Thank you for having me.